Hey everybody, welcome back. How are you? I am going to do this reading and uh, this is a different prediction. This is for uh, your uh, coming week and this is from today, 28th uh, of April, which is a Tuesday to uh, 5th May and which is a Tuesday. So this is for the coming week. I wanted to do channel messages. I'm also going to do some crystals. I'm going to take out crystals or any, any charms that you can carry or should carry or... Uh, or anything closer to that and uh, these are your channel messages from the spirit guides as you know I'm a psychic reader and I use tarot as my tool and I channel messages from archangels and my spirit guides and from my ascended masters so whatever uh, messages I'll keep getting uh, along with these cards that I'm using my tarot cards and oracle cards uh, both in fact I'll, I'll keep uh, giving you the messages so this is especially for this week this is a general reading guys like I always say might or might not resonate not uh, all the messages uh, might re resonate, a few messages might resonate, so uh, take it or uh, whatever resonates with you and let the other messages fly away. <laughs> so let's start your reading. Let's see what's coming up for uh, April 28th uh, to uh, May 5th for you guys. So from Tuesday to Tuesday. Heightened intuition. You're uh, you're not working on intuition. I, I feel that you're blessed with that intuition. I don't know why I get this, especially for Pisces. I'm talking to Pisces. I'm also talking to a lot of Sagittarians. I'm talking to a Leo. Guys, you're not using your intuition. It's important to use your instinct, your gut feeling, and let that guide you. And uh, I always say your inner voice always says the right thing. So if it's about making a decision in a job or a relationship, those are the two things I'm getting especially. It's either a job or a relationship. Uh, please use your intuition and uh, then go ahead uh, with whatever answers or whatever whichever path um, you think your inner voice is uh, putting you on or directing you towards whichever direction so guys do that and uh, so that was your first message let's see what are the other messages sometimes our intuition is really heightened at that time and uh, we we don't use it and that's the right time sometimes our gut tells us that you know you're going the wrong way even if 20 people are telling you so that time listen to your gut listen to your gut feeling yeah so I'm using a crystal oracle deck and let me see what are the messages. I'm using three decks today. I'm also going to give you some charms, colors, whatever I think for this week would be good for you. Sensitive emotions. Uh, I think you're thinking more uh, from your head right now and using uh, less of your heart, which is sometimes good in situations. I feel especially if it's a deal, I feel I don't know why it's a money deal for a lot of you, especially I'm getting Virgo, I'm getting Aquarius and I'm getting, uh, getting Gemini, I'm also getting Taurian. So if uh, these are your signs and there is a money deal, if there is a financial situation, guys, uh, uh, yes, you are not using your emotions and you will not use your emotions. I think this deal is all about uh, the head. And I don't know why it's a family deal or it is something to do with a property or within the family there is some kind of a deal or a deal, uh, a land a land deal or something to do with property that will come down uh, to you from your grandfather or uh, whatever your grandparents. Um, I said grandfather so maybe that's a channel message. And uh, yes, your emotions are not so sensitive right now which is a good thing especially if you're dealing with the money matters or any financial uh, situation and uh, but the situation calls for extra care and gentleness so whatever any financial situation that you are dealing with just be careful and uh, I think you are you guys are thinking wisely and you using wisdom more than uh, your emotions right now let's see what's coming with this your uh, in this week for you it says be gentle with yourself so the first card when I was reading it I did use the word gentle that be uh, gentle or deal uh, with the situation with a lot of gentleness extra care and this is saying uh, be gentle I think guys gold is good for you I don't know why it's for Taurians I feel especially this is for Taurians gold is uh, good for you and uh, you've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover so a lot of Taurians uh, have uh, had a tough time and uh, this card is all about healing that you need to relax and uh, you need time to heal. I, 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 I was going to say teal color so probably teal is good for you because if it did come out of my mouth and it did sound like tea, teal, I wanted to say probably teal and that was a channel messages, uh, message guys. So uh, golden is good for you and so is teal color and, uh, and you need time to heal and recover that's what it's saying and uh, Yes, you will recover. Uh, I think you need a week's time to recover and you've not been feeling well or if it's a hard situation, then you need time to re uh, rest. You need to uh, you need time to think and uh, 
you need uh, time to heal i get a hard situation because she's holding this crystal closer to the heart i think you guys can see it now and uh, that's what you need to heal and it's a lot of burden on your chest area i don't know why i feel that a lot of burden that you're going through or probably there is something in your heart that you haven't uh, disclosed or haven't shared and you really want to share that that thing that's in your heart i try i shuffled and this card came out again uh Torians, i would say this especially for you though this message might resonate with any of you guys so uh i i think uh yes time to heal and be gentle with yourself i think you've also been pushing yourself too much if you've been exercising you've been pushing yourself too much you've been dieting you've been pushing yourself too much you're trying to drop uh, 10 kgs together you don't uh, you're not going step by step and you're like i want to drop 10 kgs probably in a week and that's not uh, probably uh that's not healthy, so just be uh, careful. So let me see what are the other messages for you guys. Divine Life Purpose. Let me read out this card for you. It says, like I said, teal. I got a lot of teal and uh, there, there is teal color in this. It says, trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading to your fulfillment. Guys, so this is so true. Uh, the first card I picked up was about all your intuitions, your gut, that you're not using your gut feeling, you're not using your intuitions, or probably you are using uh, the, uh, the because if it came reversed, it meant that you have uh, a very good sense of intuition of way, what, what to do when you do listen to your inner voice because it came reversed, it meant you're not listening to your intuition. And this one is also saying that uh, let your inner, inner, inner voice guide you and uh, this is important and uh, please get guided by your inner voice and um, that's what uh, that's what's going to uh, lead you to a fulfillment or to fulfill your goal or to um, or to uh, complete your mission or whatever your vision is and uh, also this is your divine life pur uh, purpose and i think a lot of you are having a spiritual awakening right now and uh, we all usually a lot of us have a spiritual uh, awakening when we are older it's always 35 plus or i've seen it's closer to 40 a lot of people uh, have this spiritual uh, awakening or they learn about their gifts uh, pretty uh, late in life they've always had those gifts and probably they have not been uh, listening to the inner voice guiding them towards their life purpose and i think this uh, is asking you to uh, uh, get uh, to listen to your uh, inner voice and trust the signs of nature so probably uh, nature always gives us signs like for me as a psychic i always uh, got signs even when i was uh, five years old and in fact this scared me instead of me addressing uh, i was too young to address the intuition but it always i always knew that there is something uh, you know not right and i used to be scared as a child i used to get uh, very uh, real dreams and also uh, used to get people who've uh, passed away loved ones or other people trying to contact me and in the end i got so scared and when i uh, as, as i started to uh, you know grow older and uh, i understood that these are gifts uh, by god and you got to uh, you got to use them to help uh, people and you got to use them to guide people and i always feel i'm a light worker and i'm an empath also so whatever uh, some of you guys are also need to uh, awaken to all these gifts i also get that and i think a lot of you also like the teal color and like i am very fond of blue so guys i think there is some kind of a uh, spiritual awakening that is needed here so i think in this week uh, some of you will find out that uh, you are a reader you're a healer or anything close or probably you're an empath or you're a medium and you are going to use these uh, uh, gifts to uh, put people on the right path and that's what your life purpose is also i'm not going to take this card sometimes i feel a card doesn't belong in a reading and i don't know why i get that again this card so guys uh, these are channel messages and these are cards these are my oracle cards and again and again the same uh, I, i'm shuffling quite a lot the same cards are coming out so guys a lot of you are uh, getting uh, spiritually awakened and you will see a lot of uh, synchronized numbers you'll see a uh, synchronicity in your life like 11 11 2 2 2 3 3 3 4 4 4 or you'll see all the angel numbers and when that's happening uh, just uh, see what at that time what are you doing and those are your uh, guides trying to tell you that uh, these the answer lies in uh, in what you're seeing right now and do check out uh, on uh, google uh, what uh, do those angel numbers mean if you're seeing 444 if you're seeing a triple four are you just seeing uh, uh, no, twice if you're seeing four four or just just four four Four. so see whatever uh, messages uh, or whatever was going on in your head that time so uh, look, uh, look for the messages uh, it says passion and purpose I don't know why I want to take this card it says passion and purpose and it's coming reverse so your passion uh, is your purpose I don't know why I want to say that yes I 
I, I think the channel message is that your passion is your purpose. If whatever passion you have is actually uh, the the hobby you have is the right path to take or is, is a good way to earn money and you know you can convert it into your job or uh, sometimes we uh, do convert our passion and hobby into a job so a lot of you I get will uh, will do that I get a lot of fire signs also for that if you're a fire sign let me see what are the channel messages for you for this coming week uh, you're gonna carry. You've been carrying some burden, and for another ten days. Though I'm uh, seeing it for, I'm saying it for seven uh, days. I'm uh, doing this uh, reading for seven days, but something to do with ten days. You'll still feel the burden. You're carrying some uh, burden of a financial situation, or uh, you've been weighed down. Like I said, uh, like in the first card when I was doing the other oracle, I, I thought there was a lot of uh, heaviness on your chest, and you really want to come out uh, clean with something that you've been hiding inside and you have wanting to tell probably it's your partner or your family or if it's a love situation or in business or in the job you really need to get it off your uh, chest and it's a very heavy load and you've been carrying it and I feel you're going to carry it for another 10 days and that's when you're uh, going to decide that I need to talk to uh, uh, the person I need to uh, say say whatever it is there in my heart I feel 10 number is also important for you this week somebody with k a l and m will come into your life or o if it's a love situation i get that uh, love message or you'll be dealing with that person or something some kind of a communication or some kind of commitment or you'll talk to that person or probably that person is in your life and i get it for a lot of scorpion if you're a scorpio so that message was for you uh, some kind of a waiting period for nine days you're going to think uh, wisely about that problem you're going to use your wisdom and you're going to be up all night like an owl. You'll be thinking about the situation because you want to take a very wise decision. Like I said in the beginning of uh, this reading also that I feel you're going to take more uh, head decisions than hard decisions. So this is for you guys. I also feel that you're a number nine. So if you're dealing with a number a nine or you're a number nine, you're going to take time uh, uh, to uh, make that decision. You're going to unattach yourself from the situation. Like you're going to step ba back from the situation which is the best thing uh, to do because that, uh, because that is the time we have more fair and we give a very informed decision and we make the decision uh, very wisely and I think you need some time alone to take that decision. It's a lockdown situation, everybody is around us but I think you'll go to a room or you go to a corner or whatever you tell people in your house to leave you alone uh, for some time and that's the time you're going to take that decision and that decision is important for you. I get a lot of you are also um, getting those bouts from loneliness though a lot of uh, us are with the families but if it's uh, somebody who's staying alone, I also get that uh, you feeling uh, very alone. And especially this is for Capricorns. If you're alone away from your family and there's nobody else at home, I think you have a dog at home. That's all. Um, uh, I think a lot of you also don't have a dog at home. You are totally lonely and this is getting on to you. This is getting to you that you are lonely and, you know, and also because you're lonely, I think uh, a lot of you are overthinking also. If you're a number 22, if you're... 22 in the sense if you were born on uh, 22 whatever uh, like Jan, Feb, March whatever 22 or uh, 22nd of any of the months uh, you thinking too much and uh, you're also working very hard and I also feel that uh, a lot of you miss your father I don't know why am I saying that's a channel message right now if you're a 20 and uh, if you were born on the 26th if you were born on the 2nd if you were born on the 14th that you were born on the 18th you're missing your father especially if this is Kind of a, or missing your father figure. I also get a father figure who's been in your life. You're missing that person. Sorry, quite a lot. And uh, uh, you uh, you want to uh, talk to them. You haven't been able to talk to them, and you're also worried if they're fine or not. And you are worried about their health. Uh, a lot of you are going to walk away from a situation. Number nine. I get a nine again. And uh, though if this was reversed, but I read it as uh, up, up, upright, and I think you're going to. Uh, you're going to uh, walk away from a situation. I get a relationship situation and a lot of, pi I get it's uh, about Pisces. I also get if you're a Libra and if you're a Sagittarian, if you're an Aquarian, you're going to walk away from someone. Uh, a lot of you, if you're a Leo, you are, uh, you are uh, pretty strong and whatever troubled you right now is not troubling you anymore. Number five is important for you and uh, I also, I, I also think number 10 is important for you. So, um, Let's see what are your charms for this week, what colors you're going to use. I'm going to pick out three colors that are good for you this week and you can carry them, wear them or whatever, carry them in any form. Like I said, you can drink from a cup, which is a, if I, if it's a yellow cup, whatever color I pick up. And if I pick up a charm, you can draw that charm or you can think about that charm or if you have that charm in, in your house, you can keep it. You can keep it close to you. 
green color is important for you guys this is green this is a very light green so uh, go for a light green green is important for you this week it will do you good black is important black is good for you carry black in any form or or like a marble i have keep it close to you for about a week especially if it's a money situation or why i got that as a channel message when i say i don't know why i got that it's a channel message spirit guys telling me especially for finance if there's a deal or if you're waiting for um, income uh, or better income or more stability in uh, a financial situation or there's a financial constraint in your life and uh, so I, I did say yellow so i got yellow actually so this is the second color uh, that you should uh, uh, sorry the third color that you should keep close to you let me see if i get any charms i'm trying to pick up a charm i'm not trying to cheat here so i want to pick up whatever unicorn so i also feel uh, unicorns uh, with unicorns i'm going to say uh, think of the impossible think of the impossible and you will achieve it guys think of the impossible and you will achieve it yes i got pink also so use pink pink color i wanted to see if i can get a charm mermaid so anything you want to dream impos impossible will be yours uh, i also get a very purple color energy so use purple purple is for healing also anything close to uh, purple uh, use it for healing if you work with crystals so purple is good for you this uh, this uh, this week and purple is going to heal your heart that's what i got so guys uh, this was your reading and i hope you enjoyed it this was for the coming week i'll see if i get any more channel uh, messages i want to do two three more cards let me see i wanted to uh, yeah take out more uh, cards for you because i don't know why i felt that uh, from my spirit guides that this session is not ended right now so i have to uh, give more messages yellow color is good for you number 10 is good for you please be careful of your heart uh, sorry of your stomach area i get a stomach area i get lower abdomen so be just careful of that and uh, don't uh, stretch yourself too much especially when you're doing exercises and uh, that's what i got don't hurt any of the muscles especially in the stomach area you know if you're stretch, stretching uh, too much don't push yourself uh, beyond beyond the limit that's a channel message some strategy that you wanted to be in place will uh, you you will uh, come back to the strategy uh, strategy in 3 months i know there was a project that you took up and you abandoned it and uh, you want to come back to it uh, soon this is for anybody who's born in the month of april i also get aries energy I also got don't swear swear too much like you say I swear on this I swear on my mother I swear on my father I swear on this swear on this don't you swear too much it's not good for you right now especially this we don't swear not been talking communication is less you need to talk to a person who is number 4 who is number 5 I get a number 8 I get a number 7 I also get a number 11 you've not been uh, you've not been communicating well i also feel something wrong with the throat chakra i think you've got a cough this is a covid situation everybody should be okay but uh, yes i have honey if you have a cough i get uh, have honey for a lot of you especially if you're a may born you're october born you're a november born please have honey your throat is not going to be good also communicate you've not been communicating something needs uh, something needs addresses something uh, you need to find a uh, solution to the problem and you've been not been talking to the person you need to talk to the person you need to tell the person exactly how you feel i got exactly so i i'm going to stress on that word it says uh, find out exactly what you feel tell the person sorry tell the person exactly what you feel and uh, don't go round and round is also what i got otherwise that situation will get into a loop some kind of a storm that was coming uh, is has passed Yeah, uh, now if you thought in these in these seven days it's the situation is uh, not going to be good or something was going to come into your life like a tornado and you were waiting for that situation to happen or somebody was uh, going to uh, confront you about something and you knew it was going to turn into a big fight a huge fight that thing is not going to come the person is settled down the person is more calmer maybe that person is you you much calmer i don't think you're going to confront the other person if you're going to confront the other person there's deceit guys just be careful if you're a seven number or dealing with a seven number i also get uh, stay away from red especially when i get this card i always say stay away from red and uh, maroon very dark colors and very dark maroon stay away from that So those were your channel messages. I think uh, that's the end of it, and I think that's the end of the session. And so, guys, do subscribe to my channel. 
Tam predicts and do look uh, look at the other videos do hit the other videos i upload a video every day do hit the like button and do please leave your comments because i always uh, read the comments and uh, whenever i uh, get time i do reply to whatever comments and suggestions I always uh, take suggestions whatever kind of videos or what kind of videos or predictions you want me to do i will do that and thank you so much guys see you tomorrow bye i hope you enjoyed your reading and have a very good week thank you bye